Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Mike Miller. Um, I actually just finished up uh, my project. So far it's working good. I did add a flywheel because I couldn't find any other way around it. So you can see there, I actually got this off an old Curtis um, air compressor and I added a dry shaft and we got some pulley action going on here. Um, so, what I needed that for though was this that the when the that alternator is um, pulling power or making power, uh, it it really bogs it down and it it faults out my drive, which the drive is sensitive, so um, it really keeps you in check so you don't burn up motors. Uh, but what I got here going right now, I'd probably run about eleven hundred sixty five RPM on that motor. I'll probably get a put a bigger pulley on, which I do have. Um, I'll look at the pulley calculations uh, and try to get that, but it's almost one for one to the alternator. So I'm running like 11, uh, like 65 or 75. Like it is almost darn close to one one for one is whatever that motor's turning, it, that alternator's turning a little bit more, uh, not my much. But um, yeah, this is, this so far is working, it doesn't fault out. I am running at 40 hertz. Um, I like to run at 60 for that motor. Um, maybe upgrade upgrade the, the pulley. I'd like to do a double pulley, but as you can tell on the drive, um, uh, I don't got any more room. I had to get a, a lot bigger shaft, maybe a 12 inch, that's a nine inch shaft. Um, so it, it works for now, it's good for testing purposes, uh, but one thing I did find though, and I'll start it up here in a second, is my inverter. I am able to produce power and the, the motor's happy about seven amps, um, which is a nameplate. It's like seven to 7.2 amps for the nameplate for a uh, 223 phase. Um, but I am making power. Uh, the motor's not pulling a bunch of amps when it does make power. And I'm pulling about uh, 17 to 18 amps, probably about closer to 18 amps on that inverter, which is like roughly 2100 watts. Um, but they do make a 5000 watt. This is, if you can tell, I got this off Beaver, Vaver, whatever you want to call it, but it's 3500 3, watt continuous power. Um, and I'm running right now 2100 watts with this setup with a slow Excel because that flywheel will fault st stuff out if it goes too fast or squeal break the, the belt. But they do make a 5,000 watt. So my thought is if I'm pulling 2,100, um, that would roughly give me another, you know, 2,500 to 3,000 watts to play with uh, as far as, um, you know, running power tools or charging an electric car. That's the ID ideal situation that is kind of a standalone car charging unit that is a pure sine wave so it should work without faulting the car charger out um if not well then you know maybe a home battery i don't know uh but i'll go ahead and start it up here in a second let me let me turn this bad boy on so you can see so that 13 volts dc the drive will kick on here in a second. I'll pull a little bit of a little bit of watts probably. So the drive's going. So it does get a little shaky. I don't know what the uh, that flywheel was balanced at, but you can tell um, here it's got some counterweights on it. See those? There's some big counterweights. I love this freaking flywheel. This is exactly why I want. It. I got to think. I think I got it for 60 bucks and I had to pay like basically the same to get it here because um, it weighs so much. I don't know how much it weighs. It feels like maybe 25, 30 pounds, 15 kilos maybe. I don't know. Um, but it this is working. Like I said, it's a little, it's a little shaky. Uh, I can't get my finger out of the camera here. But it's a little shaky like my camera, uh, but it is working. Uh, might have to take things off so that it doesn't shake the crap out of the electronics, but um, it's not too bad at 40, but here, I'll give it a run. <laughs> 